In this video, we delve into BYD's momentous overtaking of Tesla in EV sales. Discover how this shift in the EV market mirrors the intense economic competition between the global giants. From market dynamics and industry growth to geopolitical maneuvers and technological races, we connect the dots between the EV sector's evolution and the wider economic strategies of these leading nations. Join us as we unravel the complex interplay of innovation, power, and economy in the world of electric vehicles. BYD's recent overtaking of Tesla in quarterly electric vehicle sales has several implications for the economies of China and the United States. Let's look first at the market dynamics. The market dynamics of the electric vehicle industry in China and the United States have significant implications for the global automotive landscape and the economies of both nations. The rise of BYD as a major player in the EV market, overtaking Tesla in quarterly sales, is a reflection of these dynamics. China has increased its lead in EV production, with Chinese regional equipment manufacturers, OEMs producing 43% of EVs worldwide in 2016. This is part of a broader trend, where China has become the largest market for EVs, surpassing the United States. In terms of the number of EVs on the road, in 2020, over 3 million passenger electric vehicles were sold in China, more than double the number sold in the US. This is supported by China's ambitious targets for EV adoption, with plans for 20% of all new car sales to be electric by 2025. Different Chinese cities have set even more ambitious targets, reflecting a strong governmental push towards electrification. The US, while advancing in the EV sector, is lagging behind China in terms of sales, the number of EV models available, and charging infrastructure. President Biden's administration aims to accelerate EV adoption with initiatives like replacing government vehicle fleets with EVs and supporting the national EV manufacturing industry. However, as of 2021, EVs made up less than 4% of new car sales in the US, indicating a significant gap in market penetration. Compared to China, China has rapidly expanded its EV charging infrastructure, a crucial component for EV adoption. As of 2021, China had approximately 1.947 million EV charging piles and around 66,000 charging stations. This extensive network is part of China's strategy to fulfill its domestic and global EV market ambitions. The U.S. infrastructure development has been comparatively slower, with around 43,800 EV charging stations as of January 2019. The U.S. needs a significant investment to support the anticipated growth in EVs. President Biden's infrastructure bill aims to establish 500,000 charging stations, but this is still behind China's current infrastructure. China's focus on the EV sector is not just about environmental commitments, but also a strategic move to reduce reliance on energy imports and challenge the U.S. hegemony in the automotive sector. China's approach to EV development includes political and economic support positioning its EV sector far ahead of the U.S. Despite challenges, China continues to push forward with its Made in China 2025 initiative, focusing on cutting-edge industrial development, including EVs and related infrastructure. This approach has led to significant sales, outpacing the U.S. in driving innovation in the sector. What do you think about China's rapid expansion in the EV market, surpassing the United States in terms of EV production and sales? Share your thoughts and comments on how this shift impacts the global automotive industry. Industry Growth The growth of the EV industry in China and the US reflects both the increasing global demand for EVs and the divergent approaches of these two economic powerhouses in fostering the sector. The electric car markets globally experienced significant growth, with sales exceeding 10 million in 2022. A total of 14% of all new cars sold in 2020 were electric, marking a considerable increase from previous years. In 2022, China continued to be the global frontrunner, accounting for around 60% of global electric car sales. The U.S. also saw substantial growth, with electric car sales increasing by 55% in 2022, reaching a sales share of 8%. China's EV market share was significantly higher than that of the U.S., Electric vehicles accounting for over 16% of the automotive market in China in 2021, compared to only 4.5% in the US, which was more than the combined increase of all other regions. 
According to projections, by 2030, China is expected to retain its position as the largest market for electric cars with 40% of total sales, while the U.S. is projected to double its market share to 20%. Both the European Union and the U.S. have passed legislation to match their electrification ambitions. In the U.S., the Inflation Reduction Act and the adoption of California's advanced clean cars to roll by. Several states are expected to drive demand for electric cars. The U.S. has proposed a national network of 500,000 charging stations as part of President Biden's infrastructure proposal. China, on the other hand, had quickly expanded its EV charging infrastructure, reaching 107,000 public EV charging outlets by the end of 2016, an increase of 118% year-on-year. Do you believe the U.S.'s efforts in boosting its EV infrastructure like the Inflation Reduction Act are enough to compete with China's dominance? Let us know your opinion on the effectiveness of these measures. Global spending on electric cars exceeded US$425 billion in 2022, up 50% from 2021. The number of available electric car models reached 500 in 2022, more than double the options available in 2018. However, there is still a need for affordable, competitively priced EV options to enable mass adoption, especially outside of China. The electrification of road transport extends beyond cars to two or three wheelers, which are the most electrified market segment today, especially in emerging markets and developing economies. The commercial vehicle stock is also seeing increasing electrification, with substantial growth in sales of electric buses and heavy-duty trucks. Geopolitical factors the geopolitical factors influencing the electric vehicle industry in China and United States are multifaceted, affecting not only the automotive sector but also broader economic and political dynamics between the two countries. China's dominance in refined materials for battery cells and advanced battery-making technologies is significant. This dominance means that Western automakers, including those in the US, are often reliant on Chinese-made batteries. Ford's collaboration with CATL the world's largest lithium battery manufacturer, for a battery plant in Michigan illustrates this dependency. Despite political concerns, the necessity of working with Chinese companies like cattle stems from their ability to produce high-quality batteries at low cost. Chinese companies have also advanced technologies like LFP batteries, making them competitive and attractive to Western manufacturers. The U.S. has been actively working to reduce its reliance on China's supply chain for EV batteries and minerals, the Inflation Reduction Act of August 2022 includes provisions to support domestic manufacturing of battery components and critical minerals, aiming to onshore and nearshore these capacities. Investments in U.S. EV battery supply chains have increased significantly following the IRA, with General Motors investing in domestic lithium mining. However, whether these efforts can counter China's dominance in the EV industry remains uncertain. In reaction to U.S. policies aiming to strengthen domestic EV industries, the Chinese government has extended tax exemptions for EV purchases, while also focusing on securing and expanding its EV battery supply chains. Chinese automakers like BYD and Geely have seen significant sales growth, and China continues to lead in manufacturing capacity expansion for EV battery components thereby reinforcing its position in the global EV market. Despite the U.S. efforts to build domestic capabilities, American automakers remain engaged with China, which accounts for about 60% of the global EV sales. U.S. automakers have explored partnerships with non-Chinese battery makers, but the competitive pricing and quality of Chinese EV batteries, as well as China being the largest EV market, make engagement with China valuable. Tesla's factory in Shanghai, which procures batteries from CATL, exemplifies this complex relationship, highlighting the intertwined nature of the U.S.-China EV battery value chains. How do you see the geopolitical tension between the U.S. and China over EV batteries evolving? Discuss your views in the comment. Technological Competition The technological competition in the EV industry between China and the United States is a critical aspect of the broader geopolitical and economic rivalry between the two countries. This competition is especially pronounced in theory of EV batteries, which are essential components of electric vehicles. China holds a significant advantage in battery manufacturing and research, controlling a large portion of the global battery supply chain. 
Chinese companies have managed to make high-quality batteries in large quantities and at low cost. This expertise extends to advanced battery technologies like LFP lithium iron phosphate. Batteries, which have become competitive. Alternatives to the more commonly used NMC batteries in the US and Europe. These advancements have a position Chinese companies. At the forefront of the EV battery market, China also controls a significant share of the world's refinery capacity for critical battery materials such as cobalt and nickel. This control allows China not only to manage the costs of battery production, but also potentially to use these materials as leverage in geopolitical disputes. China's dominance in the production of these upstream materials is a major factor in its strong position in the global EV battery industry. Recognizing China's dominance, the U.S. has been working to boost its own battery manufacturing capabilities to reduce dependency in Chinese supply chains. The Inflation Reduction Act is a key component of this effort, offering incentives for domestic manufacturing of battery components in critical minerals. Despite these efforts, the U.S. production of lithium-ion batteries remains much lower than China's, with the U.S. producing less than 10% of lithium-ion. Batteries compared to China's 70% as of 2022. The U.S. is pushing for leadership in next-gen battery technology and alternative chemistries to reduce reliance on Chinese minerals. The technological competition between the U.S. and China in the EV battery sector is further complicated. By broader geopolitical tensions, the U.S. has proposed rules to limit EV tax credits for vehicles containing battery materials from China, reflecting efforts to decouple from China's supply chains. China's response to these U.S. policies has been critical, indicating the contentious nature of this competition. These dynamics are part of the broader tech war between the U.S. and China, encompassing sectors like semiconductors and now extending to EV batteries. The competition between China and the U.S. in the EV battery sector has global implications, affecting not only the automotive industry, but also the transition to clean energy and the balance of technological power. As the EV industry continues to expand, the strategies and advancements made by both countries will play a critical role in shaping the future of electric mobility and the sustainable energy landscape. Given the technological competition in electric vehicles battery production between China and the US, what do you think are the key factors that will determine the global leader in this sector? We'd love to hear your insights. Thank you for tuning in. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this discussion, so please share your opinions in the comment section below. Also, we're eager to explore topics that you're interested in, so suggest what you'd like to see in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this content, don't hesitate to hit the like button to show your support.